Hello, beautiful soul. My name is Joni, and it is my privilege to share with you the loving wisdom and guidance that the tarot cards can offer us. And did you know that the first 21 cards of the tarot actually tell a story? This story is obviously not in book form, it's told in card form, and it is often called The Fool's Journey. The Fool is the very first card in the tarot, and he is the one who journeys through these 21 archetypes. And because of that, the energy of this card is that of new beginnings, adventure, possibility, and potential. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't really embraced the term fool. Um, it's not a positive term, is it? A fool is somebody who is um, described as lacking good judgment and uh, good sense. And so... Um, I, you know, it's been a little bit of time for me to really delve into the energy of this card. And one of the things I discovered was that this card not only represents new beginnings, it represents something fundamental to our existence, the law of free will. So we get to decide as we meet life, as we engage in life, we get to decide how we're going to respond. And we have to decide. We have to make choices the, for the entirety of our lives, everything from what we're going to eat or how we're going to dress all the way up to what type of person we want to be. So um, free will is absolutely fundamental to our human existence. Because we are born into this life, believing that we are separate from our creator and separate from each other, we do make foolish decisions, don't we? But Free will becomes problematic when we do not put ourselves in the driver's seat of our lives. When we hand over our sovereign authority to another person or to an institution or to a job or to a celebrity who said, we can spend the entirety of our own lives chasing or mirroring someone else's when we do not own our own sovereignty. Free will becomes something easier when we know we are in charge of our lives, when we know we're the ones making the decision. You know, every decision you have ever made has led you to this moment. That's how important decisions are. And when you know you're the decider, when you know that you're the one that's in charge of your life, things uh, tend to flow a little easier. When you know that the truth of your own being is that of love, of wisdom, of awareness, of stillness, and of unity, your choices for yourself become that much easier and you can make those choices that transcend your fate those things that you did not choose, but that are here for you to learn from. And like I said, to transcend. When you make choices in awareness, now you're on the road to your destiny. Those choices that line up and take you exactly where you want to go. All right. Leave this fool here. <laughs> the one who makes poor decisions and embrace the fool that has a sense of adventure that knows where they're going and what type of person and experience they want to know and be. All right, I love you and enjoy your day and I can't wait to see you fulfill your destiny. All right, 